Hello and welcome back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic playing as our Sith Inquisitor, our Sith Sorcerer Varaya. Where we last left off, we went to Narshadar to reclaim our ancestor Lord Kallig's lightsaber from one of his previous vassals, or one of his vassals' bloodline, Amelia Escalus, who was working at the Star Cluster Casino. Of course, her father apparently had gambled it away, but we managed to retrieve it from who he gambled it to. And we've been asked by our current master, I say current because that's going to be a source of conflict momentarily, no doubt, Darth Zash, who's asked us to meet her in the Dark Temple. Our ancestor, in the form of a Force Spirit, has appeared and warned us that the rituals she has prepared in the Dark Temple make her practically immune to the Force. She's apparently stealing herself, protecting herself from various force powers. And he believes that is an act in so to protect herself when she decides to try and kill us. Apparently she fears our power. So, let's go to Drummond Castle and spring the trap. Or what we believe to be a trap at least. Between this video and the last video, I did play with my item modifications. We are now wielding. Lord Kallig's lightsaber, just in honour of our family. So let's go back to the seat of the Empire, get on our way to the Dark Temple once again. Apprentice. You've arrived on Drummond Cars. Marvelous. Let's get right to work. Secrecy is vital, so I've secured us a nice, out-of-the-way spot for the ritual. Meet me in the innermost chamber of the Dark Temple, where you pacify the apparition, and we can begin. It's time you told me what this ritual entails. I will, Apprentice, but not here, not now. Come to the Dark Temple, and I will share all in private. But there is one thing. Given the sensitive nature of this ritual, I would ask that you not bring your pirate companion. Your Deshard is fine, desirable even, given the sensitive nature of your bond to him. As long as I can bring my lightsaber. I don't see why not, though I can't imagine you'll have to use it. Now hurry and meet me in the Dark Temple. The sooner you arrive, the sooner we can begin. Why would she not want us to bring Andronicus? Huh. Hmm. What does he have to say in the subject? Aye, aye, Captain. Motivational as always. Thank you. Kelm, what's your thoughts on the subject? Your will shall be done indeed. So Dolph Zash wants us recommends we bring Kemval. Trying to decide which companion would be better. Kelm Andronicus. Let's roll a dice. I'd probably like to take Kelm with us. Uh, before the Knights of the Fallen Empire expansion, when it used to be the case when there was predetermined classes for your companions, Andronicus was only a DPS, whereas Kem was either a tank or DPS. And when I was last playing as a sorcerer, I used to always play as a healer, and therefore I'd have Kelm basically keep the enemies off me and keep him alive while dealing damage in the background. 
Whereas now, because your companions can play any role, it doesn't really matter so much. So, we may as well let chance decide. Let's roll the dice. And that is a 7. Okay. So yeah, I was going to say Kelm 1 to 10 and 11 to 20. I would have had Andronica, so... We could have taken the droid, of course. But yeah, we'll take Kelm with us. Hopefully this is not a bad idea. We may as well indulge Zasha's wishes one more time. Before she tries to stab us in the back. Because that's definitely where this is going. Make no mistake. In fact, it's probably... Oh, I can't quick travel. See, it's probably quicker for me to use the quick travel node over to the outpost just outside the Dark Temple. Ready for departure. Quick travel now, but we might as well use the speeder. Enjoy your stay. Take the nice long scenic route. Enjoy the view of Droman Cast once again. I think I constantly state I do like the shades of blue and green here on this world. It's a little dull and drab, rather overcast quite often. One of my favourite worlds just to visit and take in the scenery. See, the rebels still have a presence here after all we did to bring them down. Rebels are still a problem, but a problem for other player characters to deal with, not ours. We have more pressing concerns. Star Destroy in the background there. Just hovering in low orbit over the city itself. brief view of the citadel before we sink into the floor on our way to the dark temple Just to think, a few a few videos ago, we had to run the whole length of Drum and Cass. Using that speed has made me realise how much, how far of a travel we had to take to get over here. This is Outpost Warden. Let's continue on our way to the Dark Temple itself. It's so being D level to level 18. Or world synced, however they want to call it. We have two Sith Marauders. With equal colored lightsabers, interesting. I wonder if they're playing the game together, like in a party. Like most MMOs, if you can find someone to play with cooperatively, probably um, definitely make the experience better, I think. Let's 
Here we are. Once more into the Dark Temple, we need to reach the innermost chamber, where we first met our ancestor, Lord Kallig. We need to bear in mind, and I won't forget this, but Darth Zash does have two more apprentices. I'm wondering where they are, if they're going to be waiting for us. I kind of expected them to encounter one or two of them on Tatooine or Alderaan, actually. I'll just take the ramp here in the back room. Use another experience booster. Indeed, Kelm, indeed. Don't know what you said, but I'll agree anyway. In the chamber we go. Hello. There are still possessed people here and berserk Sith Lords. Slightly concerning. the whispers again. God, she's really let this place go. I thought she was meant to be cleaning this place up after we pacified our ancestor. See the target? Hmm. Chain lightning effect isn't helping much at the moment. Um gotta keep an eye on that. I was trying to hit that old lady there with chain lightning, but I couldn't see the target even though she was right in front of me. Be ready for anything, Cal. Such marvelous power radiates from you now. Clear, strong, you have truly come into your own. I've arranged for you to receive the title of Lord of the Sith. I hope you realize what an honor and responsibility it is. As a Darth, I answer only to Darth Anaton, who answers to the Dark Council. As a Lord, you're only one step below that, and you tower above many. I thought Darth Anaton was part of the Dark Council. I think I mentioned this before, and I think I may have gone it wrong, but fair enough. It's about time greatness got its due. Do not get ahead of yourself, Apprentice. There is still the ritual to undergo. And I'll warn you, the ritual may prove a trying experience. But once it's done, you will be truly great. Truly powerful. 
If by powerful, you mean dead. Apprentice? Where did you get an idea like that? When have I ever tried to do you harm? The truth is, I have not been completely honest with you. I wish I could have been, but the timing was not right. Look at me, Apprentice. I am sorry to have concealed it from you for so long, but it was such a pleasant vanity to share in your youth. Why are you showing me this now? Listen, Apprentice. Various force rituals have helped me maintain my appearance and some of my vitality, but inevitably, life fades. I'm dying, Apprentice. My will, my intellect, my spirit are as lively as ever, but this body is dying. Too bad you can't just order a new one. But Apprentice, that's exactly what I've done. Be prepared. As the ritual ends, you will likely see me collapse before you feel it taking effect. Do not panic. Know that this is what I have trained you for, primed you for from the start. This doesn't sound promising. Don't worry. I imagine it will be just like falling asleep. <sighs> we will accomplish so much once I am in command of that wonderful vessel of yours. Just hold still. I need an adult. Great! Was she really that weak all this time? A little bit of a letdown. Well, we always knew she was going to try and kill me. You can't stop this ritual from happening. Ow. to learn that ritual. That monster broke through my defenses, interrupted my concentration, and diverted the entire ritual. Five years of preparation, finding the right person, training them, researching the artifacts, gathering them, wasted. You were my legacy, my one chance to defeat death. You fool, you have ruined everything. Go away and give me Kem back. No, Apprentice. It looks like you're stuck with me now. But I wonder how powerful your friend Kem was. Powerful enough to punish you for your rebellion. The Dishard is bound to me. And now, so are you. That bond. That damn bond. How can your will be stronger than my own? I am the master, not you! This is what we call a classic reversal of fortune. Pataya gila senaim, anabidupi pi pukdu gas fantan. Swaiwai silvans in iswish, paman ik alkas jam, guidis in tis iswares. Is that you, my morose monster? Unswekun pose warp, warp by nupai in zats jains ones jan. Mat in sopja, iman kudana, ja ayun pro kumana. It seems Zash went into your body, but you didn't leave. Munzgasai. Protest all you like, Ken Vol, servant of Tunakord, but 
but your ancient master's artifact has been turned against you. And through some strange and miraculous trick, neither you nor Zash have full control. Where were you when everything went sideways a few minutes ago? I have been watching from the shadows all along, powerless to help. But it's clear my help was not necessary. Flesh of my flesh, you have defeated your master. The great danger that I feared is past. Your rise to glory complete. I don't know whether we will chance to meet again on this side of death, but I am at peace. I came to say goodbye and good luck. I'll see you around then. You are Lord Kallik now. It was once a glorious name. Use it well. I'm telling you, Corrin, Zash is not all there. All this talk about dreams, it's nonsense. No, Carl. I saw Zash enter, and we both saw her first apprentice go in later. If I went around expecting everything I dreamt to come true, I... Look, Carl. Darth Zash, you... you murdered her! She did try to steal my life, after all. Hold your weapon, Carl. This is not what Zash wanted. My lord, we have not met, but Carl and I are Zash's newest apprentices. She honored us by telling us about a prophecy, a dream she had. One that has now been fulfilled by you. Oh, I know all about her dreams. Darth Zash dreamt that her strongest apprentice would eventually rise to destroy her. But she also foresaw that the same apprentice would rise to bring new glory and strength to a fragmented Sith Order. She went knowingly to her death at your hand, so that you could lead the Sith to glory. Believe me, Zash only thought of herself. How strange. Darth Zash only ever had words of praise for you. We have been anticipating this day since Zash first leaked the rumors of your incredible triumph over Darth Scotia. Zash answered to Darth Thanaton on the Dark Council. He'll want to speak to you, but we are your servants. Cam, will you do the honors? Afgudan heifst, but thy guibanist, ni fragiles fraujan, kupainana. This is not interesting. So it seems. Oh, we gained a new title. It seems our former master, now in possession of Kem Val, at least partially, wished to take over our body and then using the praise and awards and titles she's heaped upon us, lead a faction of the Sith and rise greater than her station. Of course, not all her plans came to fruition. We still retain our body, and she is now haunting the body of Ken Val, our companion here, which is partially hilarious. And of course, yes, we could quite happily try and lead her acolytes, now our apprentices perhaps, I'm not sure if we, we took them on. They did bow to us, after all. Hmm. Sif Hyar Hierarchy. Normally, or previously, you would have to go to the Imperial Fleet and gain a heirloom item to complete Chapter 1. But I think that was Chapter 1's achievement just there. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, that's Chapter 2. Hmm. I think the Sif Hierarchy is the beginning of the second story arc, the second chapter of the Sif Inquisitor. So with that in mind, I'll break the video here. And when we come back, we will go to the former Dov Zash's office. 
and it looks like we can use the hollow communicator there to inform Darth Phaneton of the events. Well, maybe some of them. And we have been elevated to Lord Varaya now, which we might as well keep on our person. Shame it can't be Lady Varaya, which would make slightly more sense, but then the Sith hierarchy, the Sith titles, tend to be a bit um, skewed like that. But yeah, feel free to comment. This has obviously been a major turning point in the Sith Inquisitor storyline, and it'll only con it'll continue to turn as we delve into Chapter 2 and see how the story changes for us. But yes, I'll see you all next time. Until then, bye bye now.